hopefully the best day in my entire life. Alright, so all of you fuckers, heal. Just heal. Go to sleep and heal. That's all we need them to do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Actually, for these guys, we can't let them stay here for long. We need to move you out in order to meet the evil Hawaiians. Kill them all. God, you know what? Let's go. Let's. Go. Oh no! Oh no! That w that was a bad decision. I make bad life decisions. Bad life decisions. No. Oh no! Rock artillery. Oh, shit! That rock artillery is actually powerful. Okay, heal up. Heal up. Stay. We just need the majority of these guys to uh, go to sleep and heal up. Because we don't need the majority of these units. Alright, so that's one turn down. So far we see Carthage doing Carthaginian things. I don't know what they're doing. They conquered a lot of Spanish territory. I have to give them credit. Wow, I'm making 1,000 gold per turn and 85 happiness in total. That's crazy. Wow. You know what I love about civilization? The fact that you can start from humble beginnings, like, you know, building a city over here, conquering Netherlands and blah, 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 and then catapulting to, like, massive power and becoming a superpower and, you know, winning the game through domination of the planet. Like, I've taken out the Aztecs, the Russians, the Egyptians, the Mongolians, all these big powers gone it's crazy I remember in my last let's play people were like hey can we look at a replay of the entire game and you know what we're gonna look at it we're gonna look at it just for you guys we're gonna look at it because this was for people who have watched this game from the start to finish I have to say you guys I don't know how you were able to deal with my stupidity Oh, fuck, we lost the giant death robot. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I don't know how you guys were able to deal with my stupidity, my horrible voice, and these lackluster videos, but you guys did it. You watched it, and you supported the channel, and you loved the content, and honestly, that's something I'm grateful for. You know, maybe sometimes I'm like, oh, why am I not as big as X person, or XX person, or oh, this guy has a more annoying voice than me. Why is he so popular? But then I have to remember... Re uh, oh God, sorry. But then I have to remember that... You know... Even though... I'm not as big as all those other channels... Those channels don't have the viewers that I have. And I'm grateful to have you guys. And the new guys that are coming in. Like the Rome Total War 2 guys. Who probably have no idea what this channel is about. No idea. I mean, there's seals on the Rome Total War 2 videos and then there's seals on the civilization videos then I have a dog as my channel background or I mean channel banner it's just weird this channel is all over the place I do strategy games yes but at the same time it's all over the place man I don't even know what this channel is about I should just make a cooking channel like I've said before maybe that would make more sense I think we agree the past is over. Alright, so... Let's now... Move on to the sea. Like Ariel and the Little Mermaid. Or out of the sea. That's for her case, actually. I don't like the Little Mermaid movies, to be honest. I don't know why. Just ne They just never appeal to me. I'm too much of a Mulan fanboy. Oh, yes! We've microed away from them. Trick them into coming out to see. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright, and let's just promote this guy. Thank God the rock artillery was uh, um, stayed alive. Not that I need him by any stretch of the imagination, but at the same time. I, I, I don't want him to die. I, I, I really don't. You know, you always have that special attachment to some units, and I kind of have that with that unit, um, with this particular unit. All 
Oh god, this guy's like one HP. Oh my god. Poor giant death robot. Oh god, I feel so bad for him. But he's so cute. Oh, he's like a little puppy. If you can if you can call a giant metallic machine of death a puppy. How do we kill the the Hawaiians? How do we do this? We've lost three giant death robots to that fucking island. This is crazy. This is too insane. I, I don't, I just don't know guys. I don't know if we can conquer Honolulu. This is my, this is the strongest opponent I've ever faced. Honolulu is definitely a, a world power. They have stopped me from conquering the island. And any civilization that, I, that can do that is incredible in in every single possible way my god honolulu the hawaiians armed with a pikeman one artillery and one rifleman they're able to hold off against three giant death robots granted though it's because of my incompetence oh god Wow, we're losing a lot of guys. Holy shit, Mecha was able to take out the giant death robot. That is, that is, that is sad. I thought we could actually conquer Mecha. Damn. Looks like we're gonna need even more giant death robots, guys. In fact, I think it's time for more nuclear weapons to be purchased. Ah, oh, shit, it's not the next turn, so I can't buy them. Shame. If only I knew that the invasion of Mecha would go so disastrous. In my favor. Celts have obscured of denounced Sweden. Granted though, the Celts have a big empire right now. But I don't know what they're going to do with their empire. <laughs> they have like a bunch of useless cities. And they're just like, oh. What do we do with them? Bradford. What the hell's Bradford for us? They're actually burning down this city. That's surprising. <laughs> Wonder how much ha unhappiness they have. Oh wow, they're gonna be out of resistance soon. That's crazy. So soon they can annex the cities. Good for them. Good for them. Wow. Okay. Um, there goes our I Love the King days. Can I even see my screen, please? Thank you. Alright, so. This is going to get a little bit cray-cray, but at the same time, I feel like we can do this. Wow, I had bombers over here? Oh, oh God. I'm so stupid. I should have helped out my fucking. Should have helped out my giant death robot. Just forsaken him. To death. Oh, they had that much range. I'm so stupid. Oh, I can't take it anymore sometimes. Alright, one more capital. Persepolis has converted to Hinduism? How dare they! Ah! Okay, I'm done. Alright, so. Right, you can go down and kill some guys. Alright, so right now, Honolulu. Last city we need to conquer. Come on. Go. Go. Fortify. Kill up. Alright, so I think in two more turns across the, um, when we're traveling across the street, um, did I say street? Did I just say street? Oh, God. Uh, tra traveling across the ocean, we should be able to actually conquer the, the city of Honolulu. I don't know what is going on with me. I, I'm too tired for this. It is 1 p.m. and I'm still tired. Wow. Well, that's what you get, kids, for wait, uh, sleeping too much. I always find that if I sleep too much, I actually get more tired. I don't know. I know this is irrelevant to gaming as a whole in general, but at the same time, 
I know for a fact you guys don't come here for, oh, MLG Pro Strats from Civilization 5. Where do you? I said, hey, gay, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Again, these are the many things that perplex me about why you guys watch my videos. And anyway, so we lost Giza. It's bad. It's a bad loss. But at the same time, I don't care. Because we don't need Giza to win the game. We just need, uh, I guess, Deebs. We just need to hold on to Deebs. If they reconquer that city, it's done. Ooh, Arabia is actually in position for a reconquest of Mecca. And it's something I'm not going to stand. Mm -hmm. Girl, no. Girl, please. I am not going to stand that. I can't believe Honolulu is keeping me at bay. Honolulu, please. By making peace with as many people as I can, I can reallocate my forces towards going um, to conquer something that's of worth or, as, or of value instead of like reconquering Giza or something. And also slowing down my forces with individual random units is something I don't appreciate. Like what Washington is doing right now with my sea units. Even though I don't really have a navy. I have transport ships though. That's all that matters. And Celts are still continuing their sweet ass time. It's January 2020. You know, seven years until... Apparently, Nazi Germany takes over the entire planet. So in seven years, guys, just wait. Just wait. And in 2020, you're going to see Germany pretty much annihilating everybody and owning the entire planet. Also, Mongolia apparently turns into an empire. And uh, apparently, Attila's still alive. And Gandhi's still around. Iran has expanded all the way to south of India. God. The future is weird. Alright, take out that guy. And you can try to recapture Giza. In fact, I know one way to get rid of these units over here. And this is a surefire way. We send in aircraft. Ah, jet fighter range is a little bit short. So let's just use our uh, stealth bombers, actually. Alright, some good hips, uh, hits off. Hips. Hips. A little less forceful than hits. Huh. I love how words uh, evolve sometimes, you know. Kind of like that study where, you know, how a word is formed. I mean, I remember in my last video I was talking about apparently how fuck was created and why it was created. I mean, I know why it was created, but at the same time, how was it? Like, how do people just go from... Randomly saying from sex to fuck. It's weird. I guess it's slang. And then slang continued to evolve into becoming the word that it is today. I say a lot of slang on this channel, actually. Is that going to go away anytime soon? No, not really. <laughs> like one uh, commenter said very angrily, I am a vulgar asshole with no redeeming qualities. And you know what? I, I kind of like to keep that reputation. Shit. Alright. Heal up. You're healed. Good. Again, it's a little bit confusing to actually end a turn. Oh, the shit. No, please. Stop. Thank you. Uh, again, it's a little bit confusing to end a turn when all of a sudden... Oh! You need to stop fighting. You need to stop. You must... I, I don't know what I, where I was going with, actually. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm dead tired. Oh, uh, no, that, now I remember. It's hard to kind of end a unit's turn in this in quick combat or quick movement because you go on, you know, sleep mode and stuff, and you're not really sure if it's actually fully sleep or not because, you know, it doesn't give any indication. At least for me, it doesn't. And I'm just like, what? what? Am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? I mean, that's just for me. Probably, I saw, probably nobody has this problem, and I'm, like, the weird one. An 85 happiness every single turn. We're going to get a golden age in two more turns. Pretty good. 100 iron. 
that's another thing I actually am pissed about in this game. I like the system of, you know, one resource for one unit and blah blah blah. But I hate how it scales. I kind of I kind of really do. I mean, it's good for what it is, but it, and creating a little bit of tension between civilizations as well as possibilities for trade as well as, you know, finding over resources, but at the same time Sometimes it's a little bit too forgiving, and sometimes it's a little bit too harsh to civilizations. And then sometimes, um, later on in the game, it's it's just stupid to ever kind of like base your entire strategy out, uh, out on like a resource. I mean, this is where this is where I'm coming from right now. Let's say you have 60 horses like me. What do you do with those 60 horses? They're just there. I feel like you know all the the. The resources that you had beforehand should be used in the um, in later parts of the game. Like I don't know, you, instead of like ironclads being made with one coal, they should be made with one coal and five iron. Or maybe jet fighters could be made with twenty alu one aluminum but twenty oil. I mean, think about it. How do they not use oil anymore as a primary resource? Like what aluminum powers their engines? I, mean, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's a little bit like unrealistic. But then again, this game is unrealistic in general. But at the same time, I feel like it's a little bit stupid because, I mean, what's powering up their engines? Not, not oil is actually aluminum. What? And then also, it just comes down to gameplay. Like, I don't want all these resources to just pile up and consume my taskbar. Like, I'd rather, you know, have resources I can use throughout the entire game. It's kind of like how I'm sometimes a little bit mad at strategy games at some points. Because tier 1 units are super, super useless. And then you have to tech up to tier 2 units. Otherwise, you're going to get just annihilated. And I don't agree with that philosophy, actually. Where, you know, once you're up to tier 2, you abandon tier 1. Like, I like the philosophy of, oh, once you're up to tier 2... You can still use tier 1, but, you know, uh, for different kinds of strategies. Like, let's say in, I guess, Command and Conquer would be a primary example. Like, oh, you know, the tier 1 scout car, it's really weak, but later on, if you upgrade it and blah, 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 it becomes as strong as a tier 3 tank. I mean, granted, uh, Command and Conquer and uh, fighting in general, but um, combat in Civilization and Command and Conquer are way too different things, but at the same time... I feel like the early the earlier resources are just too useless to grab onto. Like, there's no incentive. I mean, yes, I get swordsmen, but at the same time, what's stopping me from spamming out spearmen or just using? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah. Why not? Why Why not give me all those cities? I don't mind to be honest. In fact, I have enough happiness to make all this work. <laughs> In fact, let's raise it all, to be honest. Yeah, that, that's a better thing to do. Oh, yeah. Wow. I have 10,000 gold. <laughs> that's sick. Oh, okay. Let's create a puppet. But, yeah, that's just my little rant on um, this game in a nutshell. I mean, I don't like how they deal with the Tier 1 resources, and I'd rather use them for different things not my, not like you know how a spearman can be used later on into the late game of civilization because no that doesn't work but kind of like how command and conquer is where shut up kind of like how command and conquer is where like you know oh i have a tier one unit but if i upgrade it i can use it alongside a tier three unit or um in this game's case oh i have 20 oil but i can still use the iron in combination with my oil to power up my units or instead just uh, what was it? Build my units in general. I mean, I kind of like that a lot uh, more. It's a lot more engaging system. And it's a lot more, I guess, incentive to take resources. And it's generally a good idea, to be honest. I mean, it allows for you to continue fighting over resources that generally are, you know, what used to be useless are now valuable i mean stuff like iron and then you know you grow out of iron and then later on in the game you're like oh i need iron to make ironclads well then i'm going to fight over iron 
I mean, granted, we don't fight over iron anymore, and I guess this game is all about teching up, and then useless technology is scrapped. Like, for example, oh, we don't, uh, in this game, we don't need iron, because, you know, we don't need swordsmen. So we just use tanks, which are oil, but still, it, it just irks me, kind of. And then the strategic resources in general kind of irk me. I mean, coal is batshit useless except for building factories and ironclads. Other than that, there's no more uses. And I kind of would like there to be more uses. Oil is definitely the most important. Iron is okay. And horses are eh. Horses. That makes sense. Uranium is, you know, definitely a... A something. It, it's only used for nukes, so... And uh, pl nuclear plants and giant death robots. So yeah. And aluminum is the advanced version of oil but with the twist that it can build hydro plants granted though I do like even with its faults I do like this economy system better than the strategic resources and resource system and economy of civilization 4 like I like the customs house and the trade routes that were in civilization 4 primarily because they were a little bit more organic but at the same time the way resources are handled in this game is kind of a little bit better like oh i have one resource of iron in civilization 4 that means i can build as many iron units as i want like no i don't i don't believe in that philosophy i mean that that doesn't create incentive to conquer or trade for other resources i mean it's a little bit stupid granted they had a lot more strategic resources in civilization 4 than they do in civ 5 but still there's no reason to fight over them. And now on to later news, actually. Apparently, the Aztecs are still conquering the Mayas. That sucks. Poor Mayas. They're never going to get a break anytime soon in life. Well, then again, they were annihilated, so... Eh. They're, they're never going to have a break. Alright, so literally once we conquer Arabia, we should be A-OK. -okay. We should be done. I mean, not Arabia, Honolulu. Once we're done with that conquest, we're done. We're done, kitties. And that's going to be incredible. Oh, God. Tough for some celebration. Pop out the... Pop out the champagne. The, I don't know, dead body parts and the blow-up dolls. And let's have a party.